Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to perhaps the best mod ever created. Did you think the tiny otters were amazingly cute? I bet you did. They're the most amazing creature in Ark. Just wait until you see the king otter. It's amazing. And you want to know what the best part is? It's freaking rideable. Oh my. Oh god. <laughs> oh, it's a little goofy riding it. But this thing is massive. Look at it compared to the actual otter. Like, it's a giant otter. It's This is what I th would think a prehistoric otter would look like. Just massive and murderous. Does it have different stats? So these both came in at the same level. So we got 2251 on the health on this otter. And then we've got uh, 376 on this one. So it looks like the king otter does have more, uh, like, better stats. More better stats. Good words. We've also got a king otter saddle, which I need to put on and see what it looks like. Uh, melee damage and movement speed, 318 and 170. And then for this guy, we got 323 and then 170 as well. I wonder how fast we can make one of these things. Okay, so the saddle doesn't actually show up. That's unfortunate. I was kind of hoping the saddle would show up. Oh, this is so derpy. They don't jump or anything. <laughs> oh, it's still great getting to run. Oh my god, it's so painfully slow. <laughs> oh no. Um, but I figured, well, if you guys are wondering what the hell is going on in there, uh, fully mutated Brontos, working on that. So we got a ton of Bronto mutations in there. Uh, if you haven't, I'm not going to spoil that because that episode may or may not be out yet. And I haven't decided whether I want to release this otter video or not first. But if you guys are into Bronto breeding, definitely keep an eye out on the channel for that Bronto episode. And uh, for the fully mutated Bronto if that is already out. But anyways, this thing, this otter is amazing. I really want to like boost some stats on it and see if we can get some mutations as well. So I'm going to go ahead down to our actual, what is this? What egg is this? What are you, egg? Freaking Parasaur egg! What the hell are Parasaur doing up in here? Get out of here, Parasaur. But anyways, yeah, I'm gonna go down to the water area here and see if they are a lot faster in the water. As well as I'm gonna build a little spot to see if we can get some mutation in these bad boys. But I hope you guys all enjoy this episode. It's a little goofy. I know we've already done otter mutations, but we haven't done massive rideable otter mutations. <laughs> yeah, so I believe this mod does not actually replace the otters. It just adds this otter to the game. So you don't have to worry about uh, losing the cute little shoulder otters. Imagine if you could put this thing on your shoulder as well as ride it. Just be able to, like, when you want to actually uh, ride it, just throw it off your shoulder and be like, Wham! Rideable otter. It wouldn't fit on your shoulder. That would be crazy. But, um, yeah, so it doesn't actually replace the spawns on the map. It just adds them in. But, anyways, I'm gonna get down here, get some stuff built, see if we can get some mutations. So it looks like one of my fully mutated Dimorphodons escaped the Rainbow Murder Pit. I don't know how that happened. But working on making a super duper epic speedy otter from hell. Like a max speed otter. Still not that fast on the ground. But I imagine we should be quite- oh yeah. Oh, we are the king of the ocean. Look at us go. <laughs> oh, it swims so derpy. Oh, that's funny. Anyways, uh, so it's not... I figured it would be a lot faster in the water. Huh. What is that? Oh, one of my Beezle Bufo. What are you guys doing? At... Oh, you know what? Are my... I completely forgot about the Beezle Bufo mutations. Oh man, I still need to get a fully mutated frog. We got all sorts of stuff going on down here. I also need to get our Tussos fully mutated. So they've been chilling down here for a few weeks now, so that's definitely something I gotta work on. I guess I could probably use this uh, sex pit that we got going on down here for the otter mutations. It's not built for otters, but I guess it'll work. This is where I bred the, uh, the Beezle Bufo. Although, it seems to be a little destroyed. I'm not sure what happened down here. Are you ready to get your groove on? Do you want an amazing otter girlfriend? <laughs> yeah, you do. Bow, chicka, chicka, bow, bow. Look at that beady-eyed face. Being like, I just got jiggy with it with all of these otters. He's so happy. <gasps> Hello, giant cute otter. <laughs> the baby otter is the size 
of a typical otter. That is fantastic. All right, so it uh, does not look like we got a mutation. Still super cute though. I like the fact that it's ginormous. So it doesn't, it's probably not gonna actually slide under the walls. So when I was breeding the otters the first time, they were literally like going under walls and stuff and escaping. These guys are squirrely little bastards. Be careful. Um, we should have some more coming. There we go, 97%. I want some rideable otter mutations. This is gonna be my mount for like the rest of the zoo of the zoology series of the zoo breeding series. Every time I breed, I'm gonna be riding around on freaking otter. So now we got a oh oh now we got two traditions: the pego sacrifice, which I forgot to do for this, but I don't know. We already sacrificed fact yeah, sacrificed a pego today. Uh, doesn't look like we got a mutation on any of these. That's woefully unfortunate. But, um, yeah, they are cute. That is definitely for sure. I like that they're not moving around, too. That's a little interesting. But, anyways, we need mutations. I want a fully mutated freaking rideable otter. Well, the uh, mutations <clears throat> aren't going so well, to say the least. Uh, just no luck whatsoever. This is just not happening. I've done about, uh, I don't know, five or six, uh, different rounds. I mean, I guess really I shouldn't expect too much. Five or six rounds isn't a terribly high amount of, um, uh, breeding. But we will get one. We will get all of them. Look at that face. Don't you just want to boop its nose? Boop! <laughs> I have issues. Finally did it! Our first freaking rideable otter mutation. I think this is actually the same mutation we got the first time we did regular otters was a blue face mutation. I can't see you can't see it. There it is. That is I believe that's I don't I don't think that's the teal one. It's a little bit darker than that. So it might not actually be the same one. That's like a darker blue. But it is a first mutation, so I uh, can't complain. Now we just need a couple more zones, so I don't know. It's kind of ridiculous. It's something new. I don't know if you guys like these uh, uh, modded dino breeding episodes, but if you do, don't forget to share your support and smash that like button. And let me know if you want to see more dino uh, breed, Pleh! modded dino breeding in the future. I'm really hoping that the Phoenix, somebody uh, makes a mod for the Phoenix soon. I really, really, really want to do some breeding with those. I was really mad when they, when they put it out and you couldn't breed it. Oh my god, I was mad. But anyways, we're going to work a little bit more towards these mutations. I'd like to get, I don't know, maybe, I don't know what I want. This, a salmon one. I want a salmon colored one. See, I am telling you, these things are sketchy little creatures. They like could escape out of everything i have no idea oh there's a dead one we may have waited a little too long to come back it happens uh, but yeah i have no idea how they escape out of literally anything you cannot contain these creatures they are uncontainable freaking houdinis i'm gonna name my rideable freaking otter houdini uh well we're not gonna name that one because he's dead but anyways we're gonna get a freaking fully mutated one and it's gonna be named houdini because these things are pretty much Houdini. Uh, still no mutations though. Ladies and gentlemen, we've got ourselves a super beaver. Oh my god, why do I keep saying beaver? Super otter, the beaver killer. Oh my god, I can say words. But yeah, we've got one fully mutated. I don't want to spend too much time on the mutations uh, just because I want to actually go out and test this thing. Now we do have 100% imprinting on here. And I want to boost the movement. Oh, God, we got 232 movement speed now. Oh, man. We need to go test this thing out, especially with the melee damage and everything. Oh, this guy's going to be intense. But we got... Oh, it's, it's not nearly as fast as I anticipated it being. We're going to put it up against that Therizinosaurus over there and see how it do. But I really wanted to actually test these guys out. This thing's almost got 10k health. This is truly a super otter. Oh, it's good. How much damage does it do to this thing? 81 damage. Uh, that is not as much- Oh! Oh! Otter vs. Carno! Epic fight! Battle of the Ages! Oh, Otter's- Otter's fully gonna win. 
Oh, yeah. Ain't no thing but a chicken wing. Murderized it. You want some, Therizino? You're all stuck in that tree, getting like a, a stump enema. Alright, so the Therizino definitely does a little bit more damage than the Carno. But I do believe we are going to win. Oh, yeah. Super freaking otter power. I wonder if we could get this thing, like, leveled all the way up. How much damage we could actually get it to do. I don't think we're going to actually be able to get it to move too much faster than it already is. But I bet we could at least get it to do, like, 200 damage. And then this thing could be, like, a freaking crazy, crazy super otter. I wonder how many times I've said beaver instead of otter in this episode. Oh my god, this is taking forever. If you guys are wondering why there's wyvern eggs all over the place, um, they're kind of glitched out from an episode I did way back when. We've literally got, like, hundreds and hundreds of eggs just strewn <laughs> around the map. It's a disaster. Uh, but yeah, I want to actually uh, get this guy fully leveled up and see if we could do a little bit of testing. Oh yeah, get them fish, buddy. Mmm. Nothing like some good old fish meat. What in the world? I don't know what it is about this location on the map, but there are always flying fish here. It's freaking insane. I don't know what's going on. It's really strange. But we do have our otter with max melee damage. Now, I did notice a few things. Uh, for some reason, the health decreased down to 486. That's a little strange. Not sure why that happened. Um, but we do have the melee damage at 3,952 point something percent. Because I didn't look at the percentage. Um, but yeah, we need to go find something to murderize now. What's over here? Are you at- oh, it's a rock. That was very anticlimactic. I kind of figured it was going to be- Whoa! Did you guys see that glitching parasaur? That was crazy. I don't think we can actually chase after a parasaur. Oh god, it, it's- it moves so slow! Ah. Uh. But yeah, the guy who made this rideable otter mod also made the breedable griffin mod way back in the day. So <laughs> I'm hoping that he's going to make the breedable phoenix as well. Because that would be amazing. How much damage do you do? 513 damage. Well, to a fish. But still, that's uh, that's pretty intense. That's a super beaver. Or su Why do I keep saying beaver? What in the world is wrong with me? It's an otter. Otter, you stupid, stupid man. Oh my god. Uh, so there's our Giga from the Gigaverse Otter episode. Well, a Giga from one of the uh, disasters from the Gigaverse Otter episode, so maybe we'll do a little recap. See if we can, uh, murderize it. Oh, we still have our level 10,000 Otter over here. Is the... Is this guy still released? It is! Oh, it's on like Donkey... Oh! Oh! <laughs> oh, that didn't go well. <laughs> oh, that was terrible. How much damage did that thing do to us? Holy crap. He just... He even one-shot the frickin' 10,000 otter. Wow. Alright, so... That was a pretty weird end to the episode. <laughs> but anyways, everybody, I hope you all enjoyed it. If you guys are new to the channel, don't forget to subscribe. And if you want to see more modded dinos, let me know in the comments below. And I'll see you all in the next one. Bye-bye.